How's it going, YouTube? This is TJ, the Married Guy Gamer. I believe this is my sixth pickup video. Thanks for watching and all the support. Uh, I've had a great time with it, and uh, hopefully we'll keep this going. Uh, I've got a lot of great stuff today. I have a uh, trade from a fellow YouTuber, uh, some free gifts, and then I hit the, the pawn stores pretty hard today, so I've got a lot of stuff. So uh, we're going to start first is uh, my trade with a uh, with Dylan12-1998. He had a video, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. Just showing some random stuff that he had to trade. I, uh, and one of them was uh, Super Mario Sunshine. It was disc only, but uh, I didn't have the game and had been interested in playing it. So I uh, I hit him up and uh, you know and asked him you know what he was looking for. And uh, and I really have to give uh, Dylan props. Uh, first he wanted uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic one and two, and we started to work something out. Uh, and then I cried and uh, told him I didn't want to do it. And he was totally cool and uh, we worked something else out. And uh, I think I sent him RoboCop for the NES and uh, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, so it was totally cool. So I came in, um, you know, if you can see that. So as like I said, disc only. And uh, I think eventually, you know, I might try to find it complete. But, uh, you know, I just want to play the game. So this is totally cool. And I appreciate it, Dylan. Uh, check his channel out. It's Dylan121998. Uh, next is real, totally cool from uh, YouTuber Chip Ritchie. Uh, he was watching one of my videos and uh, saw that I was looking for NFL Blitz for the 64. Uh, he hit me up and said he had a couple extra copies laying around, and uh, he just sent one out to me. So that was totally cool. Uh, looks great. It's good condition. And uh, uh, just awesome, just on a whim. So that was really cool of him. And, uh, and actually, I found something today to, to send back to him. Uh, it's not as good as uh, NFL Blitz, but uh, just a little uh, handheld uh, Sonic game. Uh, I believe it's actually a Happy Meal toy. But uh, but just you know kind of neat. I uh, the battery I uh, I assume it needs batteries, but it's the little uh, tri wing uh, Game Boy Advance screw. So uh, hopefully he's got the tools to do that. But, uh, but yeah, so I'll probably send this out to you on Monday, Chip. But uh, thanks again, man. Like I said, that was totally cool. Uh, check out his uh, his YouTube channel, Chip Ritchie, uh, or his Facebook page, Tiger Town Games. Uh, next is uh, some free games. Actually, I've uh, I've got a buddy here in town that I've been borrowing his Nintendo 64 uh, about six, seven years now. I, uh, a while back I wanted to play Majora's Mask and I needed the expansion pack. And so we just kind of swapped consoles. And then, uh, you know, he wasn't really playing it, so he just gave me mine back. Well, about uh, two weeks ago, I, I, you know, asked him, I was like, hey, I was like, you know, I know you're not playing it because I have it. Um, you know, what would you, you know, would you sell your games to me? And he's like, ah, he's like, just take them. They're just sitting in a box in the closet. So here I'm expecting just a couple of, uh, you know, Madden or whatever, just a couple games. And uh, instead I got 11 uh, Nintendo 64 boxes. Uh, five of them I believe have games. Uh, the other ones were empty, but I, but I filled most of them. So just totally cool. Like I said, I was just expecting a couple of, uh, you know, a handful of games here. And instead got a lot of box games. So that was awesome. So I'll go ahead and show you those. They are Madden Football 64. I believe I have, like, three Maddens now. I don't know how many there are for the 64, but I'm getting there. Uh, on the football still is NFL Quarterback Club 98. Um, I have 98 and 99. I think there's 2000, 2001. I think they all have Brett Favre on them. Cruising USA. And uh, by the way, these are all complete uh, with, with manuals and the inserts and everything. Uh, and a lot of them still have the little plastic, uh, you know, baggie that it came in. So just, just awesome. Star Wars Episode One Racer. Doom 64, and I haven't played it yet, I don't know if it's any good, but Castlevania, um, so hopefully I'll check those out, and then these, these other ones were uh, just empty boxes, and like I said, I filled up uh, most of them here, got Pilot Wing 64, Mario Kart, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and lastly is Mario Golf, which I do not have the game, and uh, I actually saw it at the flea market today, but they were asking $18, and I, I didn't take it, so I'll have to, you know, keep an eye out for Mario Golf. Uh, and then he also threw in a couple of uh, PlayStation 2 games that uh, he knew he knew I'd wanted one of them, and I think he just had a couple extras that he didn't care for. Uh, the first one is 
Lord of the Rings Return of the King. I believe I have this one already. I own two out of the three, and I always forget which ones I have, and I, and I see them all the time, and I, since I don't remember which one it is, I don't want to pick up a duplicate, so I'll have to actually do an inventory here and take a look, but I think I have this one already. Another Castlevania game, Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Uh, I have not played uh, this uh, this Castlevania either, so uh, you know I'm looking forward to checking that out. And lastly is the game that I actually wanted, and uh, I believe this is arguably the worst RPG on the PlayStation 2, but it's The Legend of Alendar. I have honestly never seen this game other than uh, my buddy had it. I haven't seen it at game stores or anything like that, but uh, so it's just good to have you know an added to the collection now. Uh, so that was all for the, the, the free stuff, um, but like I said, I hit up the, the pawn shops pretty hard today. I also went to the flea market, and it was just a total bust. I, uh, I went in hoping to, you know, just find some, some cheap games, stuff like that, and no kidding, everybody wanted $5 a game, regardless of what it was, and, uh, and of course everyone had crap, so uh, I, it was just a total waste of my time, and a waste of getting up at 6 in the morning. But, uh, so the first game I saw at the flea market, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it's a generic case is Knights Journey of the Dreams for the Wii. Uh, I believe Knights originally came out on the Sega Saturn and was a, a pretty decent game. Uh, I don't have a Saturn, so I've never played it. But uh, for a dollar, I didn't think you, you know, I didn't think I was going to pass it up, so I'll have to check it out at some point. Uh, next is just a uh, loose Nintendo 64 and uh, Super Nintendo game. Uh, Nagano Winter Olympics 98. You can see that without the light glaring up. Uh, either way, I just didn't have it, so it was a dollar, so glad to add it to the collection. And uh, Super Pinball Behind the Mask. Uh, again, just a game I didn't have. It was a dollar uh, and in, in good condition, so I just picked it up. Next, some Xbox games. Um, again, these were all a dollar. It's a Red Dead Revolver. Uh, this is something my uh, nephew actually wanted and we saw last week. Uh, but we were out of money, and so uh, you know we had to pass on it. Um, but uh, they 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 uh, I think they wanted three dollars for it. But when I uh, came today, I offered a dollar, and they said no problem. So it's uh, it's complete, which is cool. And along with it, a game that I, I love on the Xbox, and that is Fusion Frenzy. It's an awesome uh, multiplayer uh, you know mini game. And uh, just tons of stuff. It's a lot of fun. I would check it out if you if you haven't played it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's complete also. Uh, next, some PlayStation Two games. Uh, I bundled these up. I got six for eight dollars total. Uh, none of them are you know super valuable titles or anything like that. But just just games I didn't have. And uh, first one here is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, I, just kind of been trying to collect the whole series here of games for the PlayStation 2. Um, I've actually seen this game in a game store for like $25, $30, so I don't know if that was just severely overpriced or if it's somewhat uncommon. Uh, I'm not real sure, but, you know, I, I just wanted it anyway. Uh, along with that theme is uh, Chamber of Secrets. Uh, this was kind of cool to find uh, these three games together, but uh, it's uh, Jack and Daxter. Jack 2, and Jack 3. I have not played any of these, but, uh, you know, I've heard they're kind of a fun platformer for the PlayStation. Um, you know, the a couple of them were greatest hits, but, you know, not a big deal. I just want to play them and check them out, so hopefully they're a lot of fun. And then lastly at that same uh, pawn shop was Shaman King. Uh, I had never heard of it before, but uh, judging by the back of it, it's a uh, like a strategy RPG, like Final Fantasy Tactics, something like that. So that's really cool. Um, so I'll definitely give it a shot. Yeah, and I, I believe all those PlayStation games were complete. I'm not going to show you them all, but, but they were all complete. And then lastly, and this is where my luck ran out, uh, the last pawn shop I hit up had uh, Metroid Prime, the original, the first one for the GameCube, which I have two and three, so I definitely wanted this one. Um, I uh, offered a dollar, which I've really gotten the habit of just going up and, and offering a dollar, not even a, not even asking you know what they're looking for, just saying you know we take this for a dollar. But uh, so I saw it, I was totally excited. Um, you know, going to complete the trilogy, you know, for a dollar, awesome, awesome. Lo and behold, I got duped. 
This happened at GameStop also when I wanted uh, Tales of the Abyss. They couldn't find the discs. The discs had been stolen. Uh, so just totally, you know, buzzkill. But, uh, you know, they just let me take the, the case. So if anyone needs the case, you know, let me know. Or, you know, if somebody actually has the game just to let go, you know, wants to trade it or something like that, you know, hit me up. You know, it'd be cool to, to fill it here. I don't even care about the, the bonus disc. I have Metroid Prime 2, but, uh, so... So if you want the case, you know, just let me know, or you know, if you want to trade the game, let me know. But uh, that's uh, that's all my pickups and uh, failures for the for the day. Uh, I want to say thanks again to uh, Dylan121998. Uh, thanks for the trade and everything. And uh, then again, uh, thanks to Chip Ritchie. That was totally awesome to send uh, NFL Blitz and uh, check uh, his YouTube channel out, and then check out Tiger Town Games on uh, Facebook. Thanks again.